Hello, everyone. That's once again Vincenzo Piccolo from Dermatology Unit of University of Campania, Luigi Vanvitelli from Naples. And today I'm going to talk about a very new uh, topic that could be very attractive for you, uh, i.e. the topical ivermectin in the treatment of uh, neonatal scabies. Um, if you um, listen to my uh, previous uh, uh, registration, I um, talked about the, the resistance, the, the uh, resistance of scabies um, to permetrin treatment uh, that we um, experienced in uh, Europe, but the same has been experienced also in extra European countries um, about the, this new phenomenon that we uh, are currently observing in our clinical practice. Uh, this is the paper published on the Journal of European Academy of Dermatology and Venerology about this uh, uh, current uh, uh, very important phenomenon um, that is uh, a, an evident decrease of uh, the effectiveness of the uh, treatment uh, protocol of uh, scabies, uh, i.e. apply the product of permethrin for one to three days from neck to toes, uh, wash after eight, 12 hours, and then repeat the treatment after 10 or 14 days. We notice a very uh, difficulty, uh, an increasing di di difficulty to, to the treatment of uh, patients. And here on the right, you see uh, the data about, about it. Um, among the no responders, we did different treatment, uh, such as benzoyl benzoate or oral ever. Uh, uh, Mectin. Uh, in this new, uh, very new paper that I shown you on the screen, we use the topical ivermectin as a not off-label treatment for uh, neonatal resistant scabies, and in particular, we uh, thought to use this drug for two newborns. As probably you know, ivermectin is uh, a treatment approved in uh, some European uh, countries for the treatment of um, uh, uh, scabies in people who uh, um, are 15 kilograms or more. But the problem is uh, that in uh, children uh, under the, the weight of uh, 15 kilograms, it is not been um, recommended. Uh, that's why in this patient where uh, we had a, a lot of uh, um, permethrin applications on the skin without any um, effective resolution of the uh, of the scabies, we uh, thought to use this uh, ivermectin cream, uh, 10 milligrams per gram, that we usually use for uh, uh, rosacea. Uh, probably you you know you know it for rosacea, and we prescribed it once a week for two weeks with the complete clinical and dermoscopic resolution of the, um, of the disease. These are the pictures of the two patients. As you can see, two newborns, one on the left and the other one on the right, with the nodular scabies. The scabies in newborns often presents with this kind of uh, um, clinical presentation with the nodular lesion, very diffuse on the skin, and it is often very uh, difficult to treat. Uh, this is uh, the picture of the first patient after one week, and this is the, the picture of the second patient after one week. You see also the disappearance of scabies through uh, dermoscopy. So, to resume, uh, what, what would we know uh, um, about topical ivermectin in uh, resistant neonatal scabies? First of all, we should keep in mind that scabies is currently becoming resistant to permethrin treatment. Uh, we should know because we can use uh, uh, except 
for some uh, um, limitations that we have in uh, some countries, but we should know that oral ivermectin is approved for uh, human use in some European countries in patients uh, who are uh, 15 kilograms weighing or more. The problem is that we have no alternatives for newborns with um, scabies, and we can consider topical ivermectin as a, a valid and effective and safe treatment to treat scabies in newborns. Thanks for listening.